What's up guys, Elphis here, and today we're going to be doing another Han replay analysis. Um, first of all, this is going to be for uh, Deadwood, played by Big Larva, who is Teal for the Legion team. The other thing to note is that this is a really low level game. It's mostly 1200s for the most part. There's a 13 here on pink and an 1180 for uh, light blue, but mostly 1200s. So I imagine we're going to be seeing a number of uh, pretty significant mistakes. We're just going to uh, be focusing on Teal, though, and we'll summarize at the end like we always do. Um, as usual, Taddy Jangles is joining me. Hey, what's up, guys? And um, we are going to jump right in because there's nothing else we want to talk about. So, ready? Yep. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, so um, I don't remember the teams fully. I remember that they have a scout on the Legion team, and I remember it's a pretty bad stomp for the most part. Um... But we will see here in a second. We get a devour pick for the Hellborn team. No surprise, really. Uh, no highlights for the Hellborn team, just a pick. Fairly common in lower tier games. They just kind of pick who they want. Um, okay, so they have Zephyr and Deadwood highlighted. I don't like that. And, okay, and, and raw. raw. Yeah, now <laughs> I definitely don't like that. Um, so first of all, those are... I mean, I don't think that's actually what they pick. I think they do change. I know Deadwood does get picked. Uh, so I'm not going to discuss it too much, just that that's too much, uh, like, strong strength melee heroes, especially since Deadwood and Zephyr both tend to be very strong mid-heroes. Uh, you can yeah. play raw, raw on the side lane, but Zephyr really kind of excels at mid lane. I mean, he, he can do well on the can, side lane, too, but... Yeah, if he's baby side, he can do yeah, well but, on the side lane. but he's... I mean, I think he plays best in the mid lane, because he just, he just stomps pretty much anybody. He just outfarms almost anybody, really. Um, yeah, so we do have the scout pick. Uh... Picks are going to close up here in 20 seconds. I like how they, uh, unfortunately, they, uh, well, it's unfortunate for the replays because they added 30 seconds to the timer, but it is fortunate I, for... I love that Yeah, so I love much. it. I love it so much. I, I was waiting so long for that. They needed that forever. They, It's just ridiculous. Especially if you're solo queuing, a minute is not enough time to coordinate a team. Not even... Not with, not with randoms, no. No, no. All right, so on the Legion team, we have... Zephyr, Deadwood, Ra, Scout, Puppet Master. Um, and then the Hellborn team, Shadowblade, um, Hag, Soulsteal, or sorry, not Soulsteal, or Soul Reaper, Chipper, and Devourer. So, Legion team, that's a pretty bad team. Um, Zephyr and Ra are way too similar to have one, two of, on the same team. Yeah, and then on top of that, you have a Scout and a Puppet Master. Which, there's, there's nothing wrong with going with a melee carry and a ranged carry, but usually one of the two is not a full hard carry, and usually they have some decent mid game or, or early game. Uh, I mean, you've got two, well, three semi carries. Yeah. Zephyr being somewhat more of a carry than, than the other two, but three semi carries and two hard carries. Puppet can be played as a support, but, yeah, he, but it's... he almost invariably won't. Yeah. Um... So, so we'll talk about Deadwood's items in a sec. I just want to quickly go over the Hellborn's composition. Um, Hellborn composition, I don't really like it. They they have a, a so they have four solo heroes. Yeah, they have they have a lot of solo heroes. And then on top of that, I personally don't like Shadowblade as a hero to begin with. I, I certainly wouldn't like to see him as the only real carry. I mean, you could play like Chipper kind of as a carry and Hag. Hag's definitely a yeah, good Hag carry. more so. But she doesn't really. Well, I, I guess it depends how they play it. But, but yeah. Um, Deadwood's item. So first skill level, totally fine with that, getting that for last hitting. You got a pot instead of runes. I already mentioned that to him on the uh, the forums. Yeah, okay, so... so we don't really need to go over that. Yeah, um, it, you know, it, it, it's not terrible, but it's, it's you want runes usually. As I um, mentioned on the forums, I'll just mention it for the sake of anyone else that's watching uh, Not Big Larvae, because I've already, I've already talked to him about it, but the reason that you would get runes is because to make full advantage of a health potion, you have to get dangerously low to make it worthwhile to, to pop that. So it's better to keep your health topped up with runes rather than get really low and then and, uh, have to use the health pop. Another little side tiny thing. Uh, not only do you have to get low, but then on top of that, you can't last hit while you're using it because it'll get popped if you go in too close and they attack you. Yeah. So it's two, two downsides to it. Now in a side lane, of course, you can get runes and a potion. And a lot of the time you'll see players do that because they get the runes for the regen and then the potion just in case they get really low. That's fine. Um, so we have a little bit of a fail creep block by Deadwood. Nothing too huge, but in general... At least he's trying to block the creeps. Yeah, right. yeah, at least he's trying. Yeah, that's true. Usually in 1200, you would expect not to see it. Um, against Deadwood mid... Or, sorry, Devourer mid. That's what I was expecting. He should definitely win this lane by far. He should. He should get every last hit. Yeah, so he missed two so far. Um, 
but there's no reason. Okay, so so I know he he mentioned it on the forums that he knows he's not that good at last hitting. I do want to note that if you're playing Devourer, like you are waiting way too long to start the last hit animation. Devourer, or sorry, Deadwood, my mistake. Deadwood can, with a tree in his hand, of course, uh, get the last hit at just a little under a fourth health. Um, if he has a hatchet too, which he should. Um, so he you're, wait a, you're waiting like a normal attack animation would, like as if you know you're a normal hero, just maybe with a hatchet or maybe anything. Yeah. That's too long. You can do it much with, sooner than that. Yeah. With with the tree in his hand, uh, Deadwood, um, even without taking into account the hatchet, he has ten more minimum damage than uh, Devourer's maximum damage, so he shouldn't be missing really any of these last hits. Under the tower. That's just something you've got to learn how to last hit. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, you're going to miss course, you, especially if you're a low, low, lower level player. Yeah, of course, if he had deal. a tree in his hand, even then it's still fairly easy. But yes, it is. it just kind of comes with practice. And even then it's a little bit luck if you just get unlucky with the tower hits and you're not paying attention to hit enough so that it's down to the last minute. Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain, but you have to, for normal yeah. creeps, just FYI for anybody out there, normal creeps, not ranged, the melee ones, uh, you have to attack them once as a normal hero and then the let the tower do the rest, and it'll get it down to low enough so that you can hit it once. Um, that's, of course, you know, assuming you're like early game normal attack damage. I think it's different for Deadwood because he has such a high attack damage, but... Yeah. Um, anyways, and then Catapults is, of course, three hits, um, and something then the fourth I, hit. Something I want to mention here is... Um, don't be afraid to... I mean, you're doing it here because obviously he, he, he started it on you, bad hook. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> but even if you're playing a melee, don't be afraid to harass the other hero. Yeah, and the other thing is the reason a lot of people lose to Devourer mid. I can't tell you how many times I beat people mid as Devourer simply because of their lack of confidence. It's like it's like people playing... They're scared of him. Yeah, they're scared of him, and so as soon as he turns on Decay, they instantly start running away instead of auto-attacking. It's, I'm not sure if people realize this, but Devourer takes the damage as well, so it's not, it's an even trait as long as you're attacking him on top of that. Especially it's, with a Deadwood who has yes. a higher attack damage. The, the thing is, it's, if he misses his hook and then starts decaying, you should always just man up and auto-attack him. If he hasn't used his hook and you're having an auto-attack fight with him, it's a bad idea because he can finish off with a hook when you both get low. Depending on, obviously, the abilities you've got. I mean, this is good here, harassing yep. him out of the lane. He's going to get a kill, and, too. Oh! No, uh, no, nice no. decay, nice decay. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> nice tree, uh, nice grapple though. It was a really good job. Um, let's see. So, so I don't want to comment on it too much just because of the fact that you know, but your last is are way low. Uh, you only have eight and four denies. That honestly, that is a huge thing that you could have. You could have definitely had a bottle by now. You could have definitely had even partially towards boots or even maybe all of the boots. He has got his bottle actually. Oh, is the bottle on the way? Yeah, it's on the curry. Okay, well, even still, a three and a half minute bottle's pretty slow in general. Yeah. Um, usually, and it's hard to get it by two minutes, don't get me wrong, you really need to get like all of them every last hit to get it by two minutes, so it's understandable if you can't get it by two minutes, but usually 230, 245 is like a decently timed bottle, an okay timed bottle. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, uh, not only that, and again, I, I'm sorry for hyping on the last hits, but you're missing a few last hits here when Devourer's not even in lane. So that's yeah. When when you have free farm, you really should be getting every single last hit. Yeah. Also, um, every time, this is kind of a gameplay thing. Every time, and this applies to side lanes too. You need to make sure you're denying your catapult if it's below range, so that it's not doing the damage to push the lane up. And that applies to ranged. Uh, ranged creeps as well, but uh, more so the catapult because it's stronger. It's unfortunate that uh, Deadwood has a rune ward and you don't. Um, although if you look at... If, yeah, Devourer, sorry. Yeah, if, although if you look at your team composition, you can see that you haven't really got a support. So in this situation, buy your own rune ward as mid. It's only uh, 100 gold and it's going to help you win mid. I mean, I end up having to do it a lot when I play mid, especially when I'm solo queuing because people yeah. refuse to support. Yeah. It's, it's only 100 gold, and it's going to really help you win mid and get you win control. Yeah. And on top of that, uh, I, I'm assuming you call dead uh, Bower missing. If so, that's a good job. If not, you need to make sure you call those. But, um, I, I can't see the anyway. He's yeah, just he's, he's, not, he's not the best of our. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, hey. Um, good job getting bottle first. We actually didn't say that, but that should, in almost any case, for the most part, just in general, if you're going solo mid, default to bottle first. There are some heroes you don't need it. Um, you know, some big ones that come to mind if you're going like raw solo mid, raw doesn't need a bottle. 
Um, uh, Tremble, you can get one. You yeah. don't really need it. Uh, Zephyr, you don't really need one unless yep. you're doing dual mid. Um, but oh. but yeah, generally, yeah, bottle's good, especially on a ganking hero like Deadwood. Uh, if you pull up the Goblin Minute chart, it is, GPM's not where it should be, but, you know, because he's in this bracket, he is the highest by a fair bit. Yeah. And th that's how you can tell that... I mean, you can tell by, you know, just little things like blocking creeps and, and the way you're playing aggressively against Devourer and having the highest GPM, yeah, you probably should be a higher rating than you are. I mean, yeah. you, so I, would say probably, I would say probably 1400 would be my my um, my skill well, level. Although I, I've seen far worse people in the 1500s. Oh, of course. Okay. And even 1600s, I've seen people... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but... You trash, um, but... 14 to 1500. So, so I do want to comment, uh, very good job leaving mid the second you hit six. But... Very good job. Your team was not really prepared for that. I'm not sure if you didn't tell them they were coming, or you were, or they weren't paying attention, or what the deal was. It was very delayed. You could have definitely gotten a double kill there. Um, either way, though, good job on your part. Now, what I would do if I was you is give that regen to one of these two, probably uh, Ra, because you don't need it as much as they do. You drank it, uh, and in the 1200s, I'm totally cool with that. It's fine, but... Um, well, actually, Ra's going to be fine. He's got three levels in his passive. Um, even still though, I, I just, when they're that low and you can have filled up on health and two-thirds mana yeah. with one drink, I, yeah. I don't think it was necessary, but yeah, regardless. No, sh should have passed it off, but you know, you, you're going to be afraid, especially in this bracket, that they're not going to give you your bottle back, which is Yeah, I guess that's that's true. I could I could see that too, if they're not paying attention. And they weren't paying attention when you came to gang, so maybe they wouldn't be paying attention to that, so I'm fine. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is your skills. I do not get a level in clear cutting until like 8 or that. something. That skill is okay but certainly not as good as your other two and then on top of that um sometimes you'll see people max rotten grasp grasp sometimes they go for the oak bolt i'm okay with either assuming you're using them both correctly you've you've hit both you know all the rotten grasps that i've seen you throw so i'm fine with you getting that first um but if you're against players who are just dodging your rotten grasp you you should feel free to change your build and go for the oak bolt it's it, Build, builds on a lot of heroes are yeah. always situational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and especially on heroes that have very heavy skill-based items. If, for example, the enemy team is, is just better than you, that's just, sometimes it happens. If they're just better than you in dodging your abilities and such, go for the abilities that are easier to hit. It's just how it is. I don't know what just happened. Devourer walked top and then missed the eight-minute rune. I don't yeah, <laughs> I, I think what he must have done is he must have walked to, like, uh, the, the little ledge that comes down and looked and assumed it was still daytime or something and he couldn't see the rune and because he hadn't walked up far enough and assumed it was bot. Okay, um... It's just a, just a low-level player mistake, I guess. So... I am okay... Throw your, throw your tree, throw your tree... So, that's, that's fine. You're, you're gonna end up getting the kills anyways. You should have thrown your tree when it was down to one auto-attack because of the movement speed slow is very significant. The damage isn't really all that special. Um, but it is uh, a pretty, it's a 75% movement speed slow. Um, I'm not sure the timing on the slow, I don't know how long it lasts. One and a half, two seconds, something like that. Yeah, yeah, but it is, that's a very strong slow, and when you get it down to one auto attack left, it's about to pop anyways, so you should feel free to do that. The other thing is you went straight for a hag. There's nothing wrong with that, making that as your choice. I would have chose chipper, simply because it's the easier kill to guarantee. Um, but, good, you know, going for Hag's fine. And you actually stick around and it looks like you're good. Yeah, you're going to get chipped. No! So, good job. Very well played by you, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the scout was a little bit helpful there, but mostly that was all came down to you. So, yeah. very good job. Um, so, so here's where it, the build gets a little bit personal, I think. Some people branch off to maxing boots, which is what you're choosing to do. Some people will rush the PK straight away after uh, level 1 boots, of course. I'm okay with either. I actually like if you're doing well, which you are. I mean, your GPM is still not great, but you know, kill wise and stuff, you're doing fine. Um, I actually like going for the PK rush. Now, you get caught out a little bit. You probably should have dodged that hook. It's kind of an obvious hook, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, although it was kind of close, it's kind of difficult to dodge those ones. It's not the biggest deal. Yeah, he although he, he saw Deadwood, or saw Devourer, and kept just going like he was going. I think he wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. The normal it, thing it, to do would have been to turn down and go up the ramp into your... Yeah. I mean, I, that would have been my choice, but... 
but yeah. So they're kind of pub training now. What your team should be doing is pushing the other lanes. Yeah, especially yeah. Ra should just push bot now. So the, yeah. there's there's two ways you can break a pub train or beat a pub yeah. train, I guess. Yeah, um, that's the, only one the, the first way is what a lot of people try to do is they try and just group up themselves and fight it. That's fine, you can do that. Uh, if you're winning, if you're losing, and they decide to pub train, it's probably not gonna work out too well. Um, the other thing you can do is just ignore the pub train and push other lanes. So... Or farm jungle. Yeah, yeah, or farm jungle, you can do that too. But usually if you're gonna farm the jungle, you get a little bit behind on towers because the pub train usually takes out a tower or two pretty easily. It's, yeah. it's, it's a little bit situational, but, you know. Um, it, it does come down to, you know, what you guys want to do. In this case, I would actually just fight the pub train because you guys are ahead on levels, you're ahead on... I mean, now you're you're only ahead a little bit by gold, but you were ahead a, a fairly good amount for the tower. Uh, and then, of course, you're ahead on experience, too. So I would fight the pub train, but that's just me. Um, you could also avoid it. That's fine, too. You're getting a little bit ballsy here, only because your support is... Your, your, your backup is a scout and a puppet master at 11 and a half minutes. They can't really do much. Scout can ult and silence, I guess, but that's about it. Um, that's about it, yeah. So, this is fine. They're very scared. Nice. Uh, the grasp was unnecessary, but fine, I guess. You just want to make sure they... Uh, one thing I want to mention, one thing I want to mention is you seem to be able to hit your grasps just fine, and you want to be... I mean, it's not made a difference so far, because obviously, you know, they're squishy, they haven't really got any items. But, generally, what you want to do oh. is... He just lost oh. that mid rune to, de to devour for no reason. They kill him anyway, that was a yeah. really nice grasp. Yeah, I guess, but they really could have killed nice. him and the rune. Just just a small thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, one thing I want to mention, you seem to be just fine at hitting your rotten grasp, so what you want to do in the situation where you're good enough to hit the rotten grasp most of the time, throw that out first before you follow up with the punch, because it lowers armor significantly. Um... It's minus four armor. That's true. So your punch does a lot more damage. So if, that, if you're if you're hitting it, which you are, you kind of want to be trying to throw that out first rather than going straight for the um, the punch. I mean, it's it's not a huge deal, especially when you're you're ganking squishy heroes that are pretty yeah. easy to kill. But it is something that if you're able to do it, you should be doing it. Yeah. And since we're on the uh, topic of the skills that debuff for him, just a lot of people don't realize this. Devour or Deadwood's ultimate also lowers 20% total strength. Which people think, oh, but it's not a strength hero, it just doesn't matter. Uh, strength applies to health for everybody, so it would in fact lower their health. Not necessarily 20% because they have base health and all that stuff, but but I mean it would lower their health significantly on top of that. So just something to be aware. Um, the dive was a bit unnecessary by you guys. It, it, was, it was an okay trade, I guess. Not a great trade. Um, certainly, I think they had the better end of that trade. Um, but the dive is a little bit unnecessary anyways, considering how many of the enemy team was missing and all that. So it, it just it's a little bit down the map awareness. It's not a huge deal, because if you actually know, uh, you're you're fairly ahead of, of pretty much everybody in the game. Uh, I mean, you know, GPM-wise, you're not super far ahead of everybody in the game, because, I mean, Zephyr's actually ahead of you. But the two of you together on the same team, you know, the, the easy team is in you know, by far ahead of the enemy team. Devour just being stupid here. Um, this is kind of odd you didn't get anybody. Do we not have... Oh, we don't have mana. Okay, so yeah. we don't have mana for his ultimate or anything. You should... I can't... I kind of understand the sticking around up until that point, but at this point... Okay, you know where the ring is, that's fine. I guess you're waiting around for the ring. That's, that's fine. You're just hanging about to just be a presence there. That's a personal call. I think that, that was fine, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. I... I so, so you could, yeah, you could stick around just to avoid them diving the rest of your team and things of that nature. Just the presence of people scares enemies away from doing things that they would normally, you know, just be stupid and do. Um, for example, diving towers, you know, if you're there, they're not going to want to dive 5v5 even though you're low. Um, but there, there's like a limit where it's, it's to the point where you're not doing anything. Nice grass catching three heroes. Yep, one. and a nice That's gust great. by Zephyr on top of that. An ult on anybody, there we go, good job. Um, I'm not so sure about the choice, I would have chose uh, Devour, but that's fine. Just because, well, even Shadow Blade, but Devour was just, this Devour was like, holy crap. I, I'm sorry, this, I play Devour and even my hooks aren't great, but I mean, nice, Rotten Grasp. I think he's hit every single Rotten Grasp piece. Yep, yeah, he's definitely good at, good at doing that, so that's, that's really nice. Um, item build. 
Ghost Marches or Steam Boots is personal preference. Personally, if I'm playing in the mid lane solo, I prefer Steam Boots, particularly for the, the mana management that you get from it. Again, a really nice rotten guys for their help yeah. set up another kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I prefer Steam Boots personally for the for the mana management and boot swapping. I don't think that Deadwood really needs the Ghost Marches for chasing too much. If you're, if you're comboing up correctly, you're going to be able to just burst down on the person. But it is personal preference. So There's I, nothing I don't want to mark. interrupt you just for a sec, sorry. But uh, the tower in mid, you guys got it, but you backed off too early, and they could have denied it had they been paying attention. Yeah. So that's kind of a big deal. You There was no reason for you to back off. They were focusing on Zephyr, and Zephyr was going to get away anyways. You could have easily just taken the tower and then backed off. So just for future reference. And on the on the boots thing, I like the Ghost Marchers better when you're playing mid only because it gives you the mobility to get to the other lanes quickly so that even when they call the missing call, sometimes there's delayed reactions and stuff and you can still get off ganks. Yeah. Well, again, there you go. Personal like preference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, it's it's up to personal preference and, you know, I'm sure either way works. I think you tend to see um, Ghost Marchers more on Deadwood, but again, it works. Uh, okay, so... He got ulted by everyone there, but he did... You know, just pick up his portal key before he died. 16 yeah. minute portal key is but decent. The, the reason he died was because he was picking up his portal key. He was, he was shopping and wasn't paying attention to his character. Yeah. If, if you're not killed. if you're not good with with courier micro or just general like micro, then it's better to go somewhere hidden and yeah. then and then buy your items and, and then send them to you because then it's no harm done. But if you're standing in the open buying items, that's kind of bad. It's good that you know 16 minutes PK. That's that's yeah. pretty good. That's, good that's, that's, uh, that's poor, decent. Poor deny by Scout. Not that it's relevant to you, but he yeah. tried to deny that mid tower. Pretty terrible. I think um, I'm ever so slightly ahead of you, by the way. I think about yeah, five seconds. Yeah, I know. Uh, what, what's your time? Um, twenty fifty one. Yeah, I'm at I'm at forty and five. Pause okay, for a second. Jump. Okay, I'm at fifty five. Okay, I'll get to fifty five. Uh, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five. Go. Yeah. Okay. All Three, right. six, seven, eight. Yeah, Nine. perfect. Yeah, nice okay. job porting to bot, by the way. You got your portal key, you have a haste bottled. Good job coming down here to defend. I do want to note, Deadwood, in early game, late game he can do fine in team fights. And don't get me wrong, he doesn't do poor in team fights early on, but he's much more single target based early game uh, because of the fact that that ultimate is just so powerful early game. Not that it's not powerful late game. Um, oh, very, job, very good job on the grasp. Nice job. Yeah. Very good that job. is a correct way to use the portal key. I, I mean, I often see people play Deadwood and they'll use a portal key to get on top of someone and ult them straight away. That's fine, but it is still, as I said, it's always better to get that grass out first. Yeah. Very good job. Very good job. Um, nice team fight in general. Zephyr, Zephyr got the buff in terms of support position and stuff, but I mean, you know, it comes down. Very good. Another good grass. All over the place with the grass. You're, you're definitely better than a 1200 player. I'll give you that. Um, oh, Soul Steel, yes, yeah, Soul Reaper, sorry, I keep saying that. Um, Ra has his ultimate, I presume? Yeah, okay. I was going to say it's a little ballsy with Ra, otherwise, but he's got the ultimate, so no problem. I hate Steam Boots on Ra, just a side note. I hate them so much. There's no need to get them. You don't need the the stats, you don't need the extra strength. Yeah, people think, oh, it, it scales with the strength, but you don't need it. It doesn't give you that much regen, you don't get anything from the mana. It's low movement speed. I mean, the thing with Ra is he has poor movement speed for landing that meteor, and he has poor um, armor, so it's always better to get Greaves or um, Ghost Marchers. That's just a side note for the Ra. I, I would agree, but uh, the reasoning I think people get it is for the extra health, so they think they'll do more damage, and then yeah. blah, blah, yeah, blah. But I, I agree, I like Ghost Marchers better. Not that Steve's just... are terrible, but... I, th I think they're just they're just horrible on Rathers. He just doesn't benefit from virtually any of it. It's 200 HP. You're going to make him tanky anyway. You need the armor more for the. It gives you more effective HP because his base armor is so low, and you need the movement speed more so that you can catch up and and run with a stun on top of them. And people think, oh, but the the uh, the Q gives you movement speed, but you've already missed it by the time you've got the movement speed. So um, it's it's yeah. in my opinion, it's always better to get. Either the player grooves or the ghost, the um, ghost marchers, but so I, I do want to just uh, side. for Deadwood, you wasted like I don't know 20 seconds just sitting here. I know you were waiting for one of them to come out of position to get a gank. That's wasted time. You could have been farming, and the portal key gives you the ability to catch people out of position, even when they aren't out of position. Also, so run straight past a um, double damage room because you weren't looking at the time and didn't then didn't see it. And also. Oh, big grass. 
Oh, Very big moment. grasp. Ah, except for Gus and Uh, the portal key was a bit delayed on the grasp. Um, yeah. If you had a big head in straight away, you would have killed yeah. one of them. In fact, you didn't kill any of them. You could have killed and then on top of two that, of them. On top you could have killed you... Chipper and Shadow Blade. Yeah, and then on top of that, you threw your tree at the tree, <laughs> which is useless, essentially. <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, you're, you should, you're better off throwing the tree as opposed to, um, nice portal key guess. Uh, I think you're going to get Shadow Blade here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Okay, very good job, nice job. Uh, you didn't have the sight, a little bit ballsy, but, uh, at this point I think it's okay because of how far ahead you guys are. Um, and you knew that they were low and going back. Yeah, yeah, much. that too, yeah. Uh, but, you And know. you can see Devo at bot as well, because, um, Ra um, was up, I, up where he was at the time. I'm not sure. I'll take your word for it, though, because I wasn't paying attention to whether you can see him or not. Um, did we just get an item pickup? No. Okay, so so I, I know your items at the end of the game, so your next item is... Well, you ha you end up with a Soul's Bulwark and a Beast Heart. Um, I'm assuming you get the Bulwark first. Hopefully, that would be preferred. Um, in which case, you have enough gold to get the first... I believe they're called Ring Mills? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have enough gold to get the first Ring Mill? Buy the Ring Mill. There's, there's no reason. Sell your shield... Um, or actually for you personally, I would sell the hatchet because you're not farming very well on creeps. Um, but in general, yeah. if you're farming creeps, you would sell the shields over the hatchet. But if if you're ahead, then there's then just buy the item. If you're behind, save up before you buy the item because you might need it for buyback. But yeah. you're you're so far ahead, I don't think it's a it's the biggest deal. Obviously, if if you've got no buybacks, it's not the biggest deal. Um, he just bought something. Is it on the courier? Yeah, he bought will, his ring it, mail. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it will have been a ring mail for the amount of money he's got left. Good job. Nice job paying attention to runes. You've missed a couple here and there, but uh, in general, for a 1200 player, it's pretty good map awareness on the runes. Um, nice job using the invis. I think it would be better if you had saved it, because you don't have much sight on their side of the map, and by much I mean any. Uh, so you, you could have saved it to use it at a more opportune time, but... I mean, again, you're so far ahead, it really doesn't matter. So this is so obvious that something is up. Zephyr is walking way past the creep wave here when they have, you know, no sight or anything. Uh, that's so obvious something is up. 1,200 players may not notice it, to be honest with you. But, and again, he walks directly to the Zephyr to the devourer. So, I mean, it's a nice grasp oh, catching them all in the Zephyr ult. Grasp and Zephyr ult, nice combo. I mean, again, you, you guys, well, not again, but you guys were outnumbered and, you know, wasn't a good initiation, but the fact that you use the skills, you know, nicely together. Good job, Leia. Um, the two of these two don't need to run from Shadow Blade. They could kill oh. Yeah. Really nice more. job by Puppet Master on the Hag, though, stopping him from killing yeah. Scout. He, well, he actually, he used the skill, and the skill made him attack Scout anyways, so... Yeah, but it's non-lethal. You can't take you below 1 HP. Ah. Oh. Oh, I don't okay. know if he knew that, or he was just using his skills, just, you know, just using them, because he was just trying to do everything he could. But that is something you need to know. If you're playing Puppet Master, for example, you're... Yeah, look, Hag, what the fuck? So she, <laughs> Hag's saying WTF, so she clearly doesn't know that. But, um... But yeah, if you're playing Puppet Master and you've got like 5 HP left and you need to buy some time or, or even manage to get some auto attacks off and, and turn it around and get the kill, if you use the, uh, what's, what's the skill called? I always get the two, those two muddled show. up. Or Puppet Show. Uh, pu puppet Show, yeah. If you use Puppet Show on them and um, it will force them to attack you, it, they cannot kill you with Puppet Show applied to them. Hmm. I, I was unaware of that too. So see, these are the little things you pick up just from playing the game forever and I mean, I guess from reading the skills too, but usually those are the little kind of details that people don't remember from the skills. Me, for example, I'm I'm not sure if well, that's probably been in the game forever, so I probably just didn't know it. So, yeah, um, it it doesn't it doesn't say it on the actual skill thing, but that is the case. Ah, uh, so that's what it is. All right, so yeah, see, that's even better. That's one of those things you just have to play the game to know. I mean, there's actually it's the same thing with disjointable abilities, and I actually made a video about that the other day. But certain abilities are not disjointable, and they don't say it in their description, so you wouldn't know it from playing that hero. You'd have to just play the game and, and, you know, get used to it. It's just how it is. Um, let's see. Uh, something I want to note, not relevant to you so much. Scouts, wards, you can place, I believe it's five of them at max level. Uh, yes, five of them. They have pretty crappy positioning at the moment. Now, despite the fact that your team should have normal wards on top of this, um, but... You don't need two on runes at this late in the game. You can pop one of them and jungle ward the jungle so that you guys can gank more effectively. It would make your life a hell of a lot easier. 
Uh, yeah. You know, like, I mean, not that it's relevant to you so much, it's more so him. I'm going to be perfectly honest, that scout is 1300 and at least he's placing the wards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's more than you can ask of, of But I mean, he, he, you know, <laughs> you're going to defend him, fine, let's go against him. He bought a yeah. soul scream ring and it's 25 minutes and he still doesn't have a rune cleaver, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> Going against him, he's, he's doing good. I, I guess he's doing okay for a 1300 player. Fine, I'll, I'll give him that one. But uh, I mean, in general, I mean, at the very least, you can have. Um, I'm not sure. I believe I haven't played Scout in a, in a long time, but I believe you can have all five placed. And if you place another one, it'll get rid of the. Nice one that you pick placed. on Tigers, though. Nice pick. Yeah. Okay, so the grasp was very delayed there. I'm not sure if you lagged or what the deal was. You got the kill anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but you grasped after he blinked, so... Yeah, Just... if, um, if you can... Another thing is about combo and Deadwood's abilities. The best way to combo them to ensure that you're going to get the maximum damage off is you throw the grasp out, and so that they can't dodge it if it's if it's right on top of them, you then throw your W on them, and that will do... It does a mini stun and obviously a very powerful but very short slow, but it's enough to stop them being able to get out of the grasp, and then you can come in and follow it up with the... Uh, yeah. Falcon Punch. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that. And then on top of that, to go a little bit further, um, if you have a tree in your hand already, the cooldown will be off, so you can grab another tree instantly. So Yeah. It so does you have, can... I believe it's a 5 second or something. Oh, 15 second, sorry. So 15 second cooldown, you can't just grab a tree, throw a tree, grab a tree, throw a tree over and over again. But you can, if you have it in your hand already, it'll have popped the cooldown already, and you can grab it another one instantly. Yeah. So, so, so that way, it doesn't put down delay grass, damage. Throw a tree, run up, punch them grab a tree or, or grab a tree before you punch them if you've got time if they're standing right next to one and then just keep hitting them if they're yeah. still somehow yeah, alive sure. yeah 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 exactly um does he have a second ring mail yet uh oh he's got the full souls okay so he's yeah, got the full souls on his way i do want to comment on the fact that he gets a beast heart after this i'm assuming that's towards a behemoth heart yeah. uh that, that's. I think that's the only item that builds into a metro, though. Um, it builds into a helm, but it wouldn't have been building oh, a helm yeah, this time. Yeah, yeah. He actually said on the thread that that's his build is to, to go behemoth heart. I, I've I've already again spoke to him about that and, and my preferred build. But yeah, go go ahead with what you were gonna say. Yeah, I was just gonna say uh, that's that's not wrong as an item, but certainly not your third item. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I was counting boots, so technically your second item because usually you don't count boots. Uh, I mean, if he's already talked to you about it, I'll just quickly generalize for everybody then. Uh, usually, Behemoth's Heart is not a insta pickup. It's not, it doesn't have any benefit other than the health regen, so usually you want to get some armor or stats or something else before that. It gives that. you a lot of strength on, strength yeah, yeah. Or it's good for the damage as well. Yeah, but uh, but I mean, that's it. It's it's damage and health and regen, of course, but it doesn't it doesn't mitigate any damage. It just makes you a little bit more tanky. It doesn't... I mean, I guess if you're if you're counting the damage too, it does technically give you damage as well. So it's not it's not useless on a strength hero, but uh, not that it's useless on other heroes either. But it's just there are better items. Even just if you went to complete the demonic, that would have been fine. If you went to complete a hellflower, which we talked there about, there are better items for this point in the game. Yeah. Certainly. So so I love I love Behemoth's heart. Don't get me wrong, anybody out there, I love the item. Just not your third or rather second item. Uh, it should be usually, with a few exceptions, maybe being like raw or somebody. Uh, it should be somewhere around your fourth item, give or take. Um, maybe raw can usually usually you'll see raws get it earlier because it affects his damaging abilities on top of, you know, the fact that the regen helps the cost of his abilities too. So, yeah. But I mean, that's getting a little bit too in depth. Um, yeah. What well, the skill build that I mean, the item build that I think is perfect on Deadwood is you go portal key then souls bulwark so perfect so far mm -hmm. and then you would then go if you well, needed it boost at some point oh uh, well yeah boost <laughs> no but I mean I mean in terms of like the big items wow they really yeah, yeah. focused you there not a lot you could do I wouldn't have gone that deep in without the vision obviously scout uh, we're, was we're definitely out of sync I'm way behind I'm at uh, 20 uh, or 3255 uh, 3302 yeah okay so why, pause. Did, why did this happen I don't know. yeah Pause with time yet? Yeah. 3.02. Okay. And go. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah, you, you were out of position, and on top of that, you had portal keyed into nowhere. <laughs> you you yeah. put portal key on cooldown into... Yeah, I think it was just a panic. Yeah. So, I mean, those are just... I mean, I, I guess you were maybe worried that it would get on cooldown, because if they attacked you, then you wouldn't be able to use it. That's It's just something you get with time. You, know, you learn to react calmly to those things. Don't worry. I still react panic to a whole bunch of stuff, so don't get me... <laughs> 
Don't don't worry about it. I'm I play at a 1600 level and I'm still you know I, I still blast everything when I get a little worried. So don't worry about it. Um, that's certainly not a major thing that you need to focus on. That's just something that comes with time. What was I talking about items? Oh yeah, um, yeah the the perfect item build for me. Obviously you have to do boots of choice and bottle if you're mid. Um, on Deadwood is portal key, then into Souls Bulwark, so it's perfect so far. And then uh, Shrunken Head if you need it, and that's going to be in most games pretty much. Uh, yeah, you are going to need it in this game simply because of the amount of magic damage. They don't have that much disable, but they have a lot of magic damage. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> scout. I don't know if you saw that. You just uh, used everything on an, uh, an illusion. No, but that does sound like a scout. Uh, nice uh, yeah, port bot, uh, paying attention. Sorry to interrupt. You. No, that's cool. Let's let's just watch this little sort of team fight here. So and nice port bot. Yeah. Your ult is on cooldown, I believe. He just used it. Okay, he, so he just used it. I missed that part, but either way, he used he used it on Soul Reaper. And, and, a, and again, very good nice. grasp. I mean, you are definitely at least playing Deadwood. You're definitely far past 1200. I th I don't think you've missed a single grasp this game. Yeah. Uh, and that's a that's a fairly skill intensive. Uh, item. That's not an I. Uh, or sorry, a skill intensive skill. That seems a little bit redundant. I mean, like player skill level. Like you can't just jump into a game and say, "Oh, I'm gonna press Q and I, haha, I'm gonna win." That's. I mean, it, you have to be able to predict where they're gonna be. And granted, against these guys, they don't seem to be kiting and dodging much. But still, I'm not gonna take anything away from you. You've, 31 you've minute rune cleaver on scout. <laughs> nice. Whew. He's gonna carry this game. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I, I was. Oh, and on top <laughs> eventually of that, I'll the, get back to the, uh, the item build that I was He's the about. lowest level in the game, too. 0-0-3. Zero, zero, <laughs> okay, let's stop talking about scout. Yeah, perfect uh, skill build. Um, PK, uh, Souls Bulwark, Drunken Head if you need it. And then it's um, Demonic and Hellflower in whichever order is, is more required. And that is just going to allow you to A, have pretty much infinite mana with the Hellflower. B, do an insane amount of single target burst with the health flower on top of your uh, your old combo and basically even late game you're gonna be able to even if you can't quite kill them force someone completely out of the fight they're gonna have to go back to regen they're not gonna be part of the fight anymore yeah. and you, you that's you essentially you still even late game turn it into a, a 4v5 especially with the extra and, damage and on the top of that, yeah yeah the the health flower and, makes them take 20 percent more damage this is another thing that a lot of players don't realize uh, when they get the item, they're like, oh, it does a silence and shows me sight and, you know, you know the trail and blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, but the main reason you get it is is mostly, that's I guess, for the silence on top of the damage. But the yeah. damage is really yeah. phenomenal. And it not only affects you, it's everybody. All of your teammates do 20% more damage to that player. And on top of that, it silences. So, for example, if you're using on an enemy carry, they can't shrunken head. So they're pretty much screwed. Yeah, it, yeah, it silences and perplexes, which means they can't use items, as, which is what you're alluding to with the, uh, the shrunken head. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, sorry. And um, but yeah, the the twenty percent damage increase is, is what I was getting out with the um. Ooh, wow, they're really bunched up. So wow. Yeah. So I think it was a bit delayed on the Zephyr help there. You guys could help fit some. Um, but either way, it, it was nice. To get a bunch of this is gonna be a stomp fight, and I'm sure this is the fight where they just give up. <laughs> Um, yeah, for... Oh, sorry, no, Hag actually got away, so... No, Hag did not get away, I stand corrected. But, anyway, with the <laughs> with the Demonic and Hellflower, your auto-attacks are also going to be a lot faster and do a significant amount more damage, which and which means if you've got a Shrunken Head, even after you've used your combo and taken someone out of the fight, if not killed them, you can stay in and auto-attack the rest with pretty decent damage and attack yeah. speed. And you've got the Shrunken Head, so you're not going to be locked down and killed so easily. Yeah, plus, and, um, yeah. plus Deadwood has a lot more crowd control than people give him credit for. The tree yeah. that he can throw has a very, well, I guess not very, but fairly short cooldown when you take into a, a, account that you should be auto-attacking a couple times with it before you throw it. And then on top of that, his Rotten Grasp is three seconds, I believe? Three seconds. A three-second root, assuming you can hit Or Sorry, not a root, it's an immobilize. Um, assuming you can hit it, which means they can't blink away, they can't get out of it, essentially. You know, the ones that come to mind are hag. In this case, you can't blink out of it. Um, yeah. it and uh, another thing, just on that fight that we just uh, happened, you should have saved Zephyr sooner. And also, even if you had ulted Deadwood to stop him, I mean, you should have, you could have just thrown the tree. But even if you had ulted Deadwood to stop his ult, that's fine, considering the fact that it lowers 20% of his total strength. So don't be afraid to ult tanky heroes uh, because it makes them not tanks, essentially. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's almost like. 
like a soul reaper ult or a scout ult in that it it works on a, on a percentage and therefore even on someone tanky it's still going to take up yeah. a significant amount of their hp yeah 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 um, now, <laughs> portal key ult one shot <laughs> yeah so splat so chipper's probably a little upset um how much health yeah he has a thousand health their team has no armor items apart from Soul Reaper. Oh yeah, I and mean, then the Soul Spall work doing the negative armor doesn't help. Yeah, either. yeah. And imagine if you had a health lower, you could you could one shot pretty yeah. much anyone on their team. Yeah. Pop okay. Uh, portal key throw. Yeah, there we go. Throw the tree. Nice job. Exactly. What I was thinking. We should have done it just a couple seconds sooner. Um, but even still, very nice job. Um. Let's see. Yeah, your focus is fine. Going for Shadow Blade over Devour is fine. Is Shadow Blade at Angels? I don't know. Okay, so it's just... I think it, I think it just got fogged. There were some trees there. It's kind of hard to see in spectator mode because you can see everything. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's what it is. Um, you backed out a little bit too soon. If, if Zephyr's tanking the towers, you don't have to get out of tower range. Feel free to sit around and help him out. I mean, he, 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 he wouldn't have killed Devour either way, I don't, I don't think, but... I mean, it's possible. Um, he he pushed Devourer out of tower range to essentially get a kill, but you guys weren't there to back him up. So um, I guess because you're not getting focused, it's not a big deal. Um, but if you're not going shrunken head, if you look at the magic damage on the team, I'd yeah. at least like to see vestments as a build-up item. Yeah, I would have actually even got vestments even if I was going for a shrunken head. Um, well, yeah. yeah, because I'd... just because of the the magic damage on the team, and uh, well. Yeah, I mean, it, I ended, gonna, it ended up not really mattering, yeah. but you should have got it anyway. Yeah, that and, been a and on top of that, I was going to say he's a strength hero, so it's it's even more so that it's okay for him to not get it. Not that I want to say it's okay for him to not get it, but but it's even more so forgivable considering the fact that not only it's not like he's a you know a flint or a forsaken or something. He's he's got a fair amount of survivability on top of that. So. Um, yeah, just leave, leaving your illusions. You're by yourself, so you should just leave. Uh, good choice. Oh, coming down here on bot, you could kill Soul Reaper if you guess blinked. No. Okay, so it looks like you're just gonna leave. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I think I might be a bit ahead. Yeah, you're a bit ahead. Again, see, that's that's what I saw earlier. He did that to Chipper earlier. <laughs> oh, Deadwood. It's just not here, isn't it? Chipper, Chipper, you damn tart. <laughs> I guess Chipper is not quite that happy. Nice. The hag blew her ult like a fool. Again, a good grasp. I mean, all day long with these pro grasps. I love them. Well, um, Chipper, you shouldn't have got spell shards, should you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Zephyr ultimate is good, but it doesn't have... Well, it's not... Yes, yeah, 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 now Ra's coming up here. And now it looks like... Okay, Shadow Blade a little bit stutter stepping there. I guess he doesn't realize what he wants to do. There we go. Somebody's been bad. Oh, I don't, blink. I don't believe you didn't mention your broken record saying that you always mention. With the TPs, you mean? Yeah. I, well, that's because I was going to mention it and I actually forgot about it. He does have TPs. He's had TPs yeah. all game long. Uh, so good job on that. I was going to yep. mention it, and I actually just, it slipped my mind. But he has had TPs, I think, pretty much past, like, 10, 15 minutes. I've seen him with a TP, like, every time I look. So good job on that. Um, and, and, and there were a couple times where you could have even... Um, <laughs> Zephyr just got a soul's face palm. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's the end of the game. Yeah, I guess it's kind of stupid. Uh, of course, Zephyr also got, like, a 35-minute mock or something, so... <laughs> To be honest, for this bracket, that's not horrible, considering every item is going to come later, so it kind of compensates for... I guess. Because their team is going to be just as behind. Yeah, I guess. I guess it is okay in this bracket, considering he... I mean, to be fair, Zephyr did have the top GPM in the game pretty much all throughout the game, so... I mean, you know, when he got his um, mock, presumably, he would have had, you know, his first... You know, he would have had it before the enemy team would have had the items to counter it and all that, so... It's not that big of a deal. Um, recap. So, last hitting, key. Your last hitting was, uh, not to be a jerk, but it was atrocious. Um, especially for yeah. a Deadwood. It was pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, 62, final score in a 40-minute game. You should yeah, have... You should your have hero kills did you over there. Yeah, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. The hero kills and assists, certainly... I mean, you know, to be fair, you only had a 282 GPM, so it's not phenomenal. But, I mean, for this bracket, that's probably fairly decent, fairly good, I would think. Um, I mean, especially the whole enemy team had below 200 except for one player, so. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so last hitting, uh, your, 
your rotten grasps were phenomenal. Don't don't change anything, with the only exception being you should do them before you ult, like you like, like we've already talked about. Um, your build fine up until the beast heart. Change the beast heart to something else, uh, either yep. you know hellflower, demonic breastplate, whatever shrunken head. In this game, it should have been a shrunken head. Uh, you know, get whatever. all three of those and then a behemoth yeah. heart if you want it, or yeah. a savage mace. Just build them exactly like pebbles, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the game, but I mean, you know, the the order of those three depends on the game. But those three are, yeah. are pretty much key items. I, I don't think. I mean, there there could be slight arguments, but there there are some games where you're not going to need a shrunken head, but generally those those three items after your portal key souls are going to be the best to get on deadwood in almost every single game yeah and then a lot of the time you'll see people pick up uh, either a behemoth's heart or um, i see people pick up a frostfield plate fairly often and i'm fine yeah. with that more damage and on top of that the crowd control is really nice too so and just being more tanky if you yeah. if you i mean obviously there's builds are situational on pretty much every hero i mean yeah. I mean, if you need, if your team needs someone tanky, you know, to, to be getting stuck in, I mean, after you initiate, to just be able to stay in there and and absorb damage while your team is, is pumping in the damage. Say you don't have a... Uh, say you've already got enough semi-carries, you don't need more damage output, you just need someone to sit there and absorb damage, then the tanky route is fine. Um, and also, you know, again, if your team needs more utility, building utility-based items, on any hero, essentially, apart from probably carries, like, you know, Tablet, Storm Spirit, as, as I always go on about Tablet, Storm Spirit, and, uh, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, Sheepstick, and just mm -hmm. CC, CC and, and, uh, and utility items are just, just amazing. If you can't think of anything else to build, just get one of those three. It's never wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I literally, I cannot think of a single game where one of those three, if not all three of those items, would be a good pickup for the team. Uh, I don't think there there is a game that exists, or rather a team that exists, with the only exception being like a push strategy that plans on ending the game in the first, you know, 20 minutes or something, uh, because then they probably wouldn't have the money to get that. They'd be wanting more push items like Astrolabe and things like that. But, but uh, you know, don't don't worry about the specifics. Just those items, phenomenal. Uh, and on, yeah. on top of that, Hellflower too is more utility as well. But You, you, you know what? Hellflower is my favorite item in the game. Hellflower is the one item in the game that is never bad on any hero. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's bad on any, I mean, the only thing I could think is maybe like a Nymphora, the a damage and attack speed and stuff would be kind of irrelevant, but I mean, still not bad, I guess, that could, you, yeah. you could certainly pick worse items, so. Exactly, I mean, the, the, there's, there's heroes that you, you wouldn't get it on because you'd get something else, but it's never, ever bad. <laughs> yeah, um, other than those, uh, skill leveling, we talked about it, clear cutting is unnecessary early on. Uh, you should you should definitely not put a level into it at least until I think at least eight. You can even go later than that if you if you want, but I think one level uh, at at about eight is is fine, and then max the other two. Skype in and stuff. Is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, um, I think that's about it. Uh, we talked about the skill comboing. Make sure you're doing that. Your your grasp are again phenomenal. So don't don't change that. Uh, just last hitting. Really, last hitting. I think is what's holding you back from just honestly dominating these games one v five. And again, uh, I, it's a, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Finish what you're gonna say. I, I remember sorry playing. I remember playing in the 1400s and below. I, I was there at one point. I think the lowest I got was like 14 or high 13. Um, but you can literally win games by yourself if you if you're playing well. I mean, they, literally the teams. The odds of playing against competent players who actually know what they're doing are, are pretty low. You can basically just, I picked Devourer, but you could, I mean, uh, Taddy picked uh, Tremble. <laughs> you can you can pick, you know, pretty much any solo mid hero and just stomp a game, really. Um, yeah. Once you get good at it, that is. Yeah, a solo mid scaling ganker is going to get you out of that bracket. I mean, currently, I think you keep playing Deadwood, you make some tweaks, you improve on what we've, we've mentioned, you will climb out of that bracket because you can see that your skill level is above where the bracket that you're playing in currently yeah uh, uh to be honest with you i'm still i'm still kind of surprised you're this low it's it's a little bit astonishing maybe uh, it's it's possible that this was a lucky game I'm, I'm not sure but um if you're playing deadwood frequently which uh, i'm actually not sure what your most played heroes are but we'll check um no okay so deadwood isn't even in your top five so that might be doing it but i'm not sure you have devour as your number one i'm assuming if you're as good at hooks as you are with the grasps that shouldn't be a problem but I'm not. I'm not sure. So, um, either way, though, that pretty much covers it. I think. Um, again. Oh, were... time management again. Yeah. It's, it wasn't such a big deal for you as it was when we covered that blitz game, but mm -hmm. um, there were periods of time when 
you weren't really doing a lot. You should have been either trying to set up ganks, which you did a lot. You spent most, that's probably why you got so low farm. You spent almost 100% of your time trying to set up ganks. And um, that's that's fine. That's good with Deadwood, especially in, in low tier games where it, it does come down to whoever's getting the most hero kills is more likely to win. But there is a lot of time that you could have been, you could have spent farming. I mean, you don't always have to be trying to force ganks if they're not available. You should, there should really be more of a, I've got an opportunity to gank here, let's TP to this lane and gank, or I've got a rune, let's go and gank. If yeah. you've got neither, just sit and, and get your farm up a little bit. Yeah, I do want to um, just inform you, if you want, you could watch Angry Testy stream. I don't think he's very good at illustrating a lot of the points that people need to learn to play in a team, but he's very good at knowing when to farm and then when to gank. And you'll notice in almost every game he plays, he, I think he always goes solo mid, but in almost every game he plays, he'll he'll have, you know, freaking 600, 700 GPM, and he'll have like a 6.0 KD and like 300 creep kills too. And he's very good. That's that's one of the things that I think he's the best at. I mean, he's definitely top tier at that. He's very good at knowing when to farm and when to gank and how to farm on top of that. So he plays pretty much every hero too, and he does that with every single hero. You know, even supports, he's ganking and farming at the right time. So, of course, he plays supports like carries, but that that being aside. So if you wanted to get some tips on that, go watch his stream. He streams every day, I think, so or at the very least most days. So there's that. Um, other than that, that's really all there is to talk about you. The only other thing I wanted to just mention is um, it, there were a couple times where you were like delayed going in, uh, and I'm not sure if they were simply because you weren't paying attention or simply because you were waiting for the grasp to pop, because I know you placed the grasp, and then you were just like waiting before you PK'd in. You can PK in mid-grasp. I mean, I don't want to say that's a goal that you should always do, but I mean, in a game where you're winning, in a game where you're ahead, you, you can jump in to save your teammates before the grasp happens. I, I know you might be worried about scaring them off from the grasp, but it's... Yeah, and also, if it's going to land anyway, and you're just waiting to port key in and out, port key in beforehand if it's going to land anyway, and start auto-attacking them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge deal. You did, you know, come in and clean up, but, I mean, there were at least two times that I can think where Zephyr was kind of caught out and you like didn't jump in to save him instantly so that's just something you need to pay attention to um but other than that you you did play quite well for a 1200 all things considered so i mean you know don't don't let anything you know any of any of our criticism you know knock you down i, I do find it a little odd you only had 75 apm but <laughs> yeah i mean you were kind of all over the place so i'm a little confused but you know again APM <laughs> compare that to me <laughs> yeah First, Taddy usually averages you know, like 250 plus or something, but he's insane. Don't worry about him. Uh, I think he clicks both. I think he has two mice and he just clicks left hand, left clicks or right clicks. No, yeah, right, right click all the time. on my laptop pad and my. Yeah, that's mouse what he does. He just right, right clicks on the laptop pad and his mouse constantly. Um, but okay, so uh, real Joking, quick. Of course just summarize the game for everybody so creep kills everybody was behind where they should be with the exceptions being zephyr was just about on par although for a zephyr he should have had more so don't don't let that confuse you um Ra is okay although he should have had more um and then the hellborn team let's see some soul reaper did good uh, on last hits and chipper if he was going to play support although he went in the same lane as soul reaper so that doesn't really uh add up but if he was going to play support in a fi in a, in a 40 minute game, 55, 60 CK for support is okay. It's not great, um, but other than that, everybody was below where they should have been CK. Uh, with even Zephyr, who technically, you know what I say, usually 50 every 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Sorry, uh, no, 50. I don't know what I say. I'm not I'm not thinking right now. 50 every 10 minutes, okay. <laughs> 50 every 10 minutes uh, is usually okay, but on a carry like Zephyr, who has such great farm potential, uh, that's that's not really applicable it's kind of he needs more than that usually um i think the creep kills probably would have been higher if you weren't stomping and snowballing and just killing the heroes so much yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's true I, I mean but again if you watch angry testy he does both so it's not like and it comes down to your time yeah. management there were times where you were not farming when you should have been so you need to know the exact times when to set up ganks and the exact times when to farm instead so there there are times and you had tps constantly so you could do both so don't be afraid to you know go farm a little bit and then just teleport to towers and pk in and stomp somebody whenever they get too close you know feel free to do that and and it's very effective as deadwood and very effective as pretty much any mid hero but more so deadwood because he has such high nuke damage early on um but 
uh, yeah, but so other than that, just, you know, the CK, uh, if you, if you had focused on CKing more, you could have definitely, I mean, just, just based on the ones you missed, I would say you probably could have easily gotten a hundred, um, without, you know, costing you any of that ganking potential that you had. So, yeah. so even just, just focus on the last hitting ability, even if you're not going to worry about the, the, you know, time to last hit as opposed to ganking yet, just do that. Um, but back to the rest of the team. So let's go through a quick item thing. Zephyr's items are fine. Uh, the yeah, only late, thing... but fine. Yeah, yeah. So so he had the mock a bit late, and he had all his other items. Uh, his boots and helm were okay timed, not not poor, but his boots and helm were okay timed. But then he completed the um, shaman's headdress, which really delayed his mock. And I would say whenever I go mock, it's rare that I will complete a headdress before. Uh, not totally uh, bad if you do that. But you really need to have fairly decent GPM to do it, and otherwise it delays your mock too much, and it just it sets you back to the point where it's not worth getting a mock. So in, in a in a normal game, 1600 plus, I'd say a 35 minute mock is at the point where that's a bad time to mock. So it, it's too late. Um, but other than that, his items are okay. He I I didn't check. Uh, oh, he went he went with raw in the lane. I didn't check if they were splitting farm or what, but. I don't know. I don't really know what they would have been doing. Yeah, that's I wasn't really looking. They they did kind of odd lanes too. I would have done um, probably Zephyr and Puppet and then Bra and Scout bottom, but that's just to be me. honest. A anyway, the lanes yeah. worked out were, were bad. But. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, next on the list, Ra. His items were fine. See, see, this is one of the. See, he gets a a, um, a heart for his third items. That's one of the cases that it's okay um, because he's Ra. So mm. and in it's i still think he could have done better i would have liked me yeah. well well you know what? actually in the game that they were stomping i'm fine with the heart yeah um, um to be honest one thing that it, it kind of irks me a bit is when i see people get a heart on top of a helm because by the time you're getting heart it's going to be towards the mid to late game the helm's not really doing much the regen is negligible the block's basically doing nothing it is better to save the money split your helm up and use the beast heart to to build the behemoth heart once you have enough money to to get the other two components just go and split that and um and either sell or, or keep the life tube and the shield obviously um, um i don't i there's i mean by the time you're getting a heart hell's not doing much it's really so, not so I've, I've actually done the math on it and um yeah i was just gonna say i'd have to do the math to confirm that but yeah that sounds that sounds right the helm is essentially negligible at that point i mean the, the, it still gives you uh, i think it's 250 hp um no 300 so 300 hp is nice but again for an item that expensive uh you could you know i mean even if you sold the tube and shield which i would actually maybe um build that into something else potentially depends on the game i guess but depends but, um, on the hero i mean yeah. on raw you're not really going to build a null stone or, yeah, or something yeah. like that so you can't really make use of the, the yeah, tube so, afterwards so you could sell that and then start working towards i mean normally after a heart would i'd probably get like a souls but in this game in this case two souls doesn't make any sense <laughs> on top of yeah. the third soul that i think zephyr got a souls there at some point um, my raw build's a little bit crazy i go um after boots and helm and vestments i go um Porky and Sanitarius. Uh, so, so... <laughs> that just seems weird to me. <laughs> I mean, I, I get the idea behind it, but... I don't think the Insanitarius is the best item there. That seems... It gives you a lot of strength, which means yeah, that your W's yeah. doing I, I more see damage. That. It also yeah, lets yeah. you... If you pop it right after you resurrect, you come up with two-thirds or three-quarters HP rather than half. Um, and also, when you, when you resurrect after your ult, not only do you have then more health... But on top of the 30% extra damage that you do when you resurrect from your ult, you've also got the extra damage from the Insanitarius and the attack speed and the extra strength. So it it, it makes you do a lot more damage. Well, and on top of that, people don't use it. I mean, at least in my brackets. I'm sure in the 1800s they do. But on top of that, if you get to 50 health, you can turn the Insanitarius off and turn it back on, and it jumps you to like 250 or 300 or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, pe people, I, I can't tell you how many people I see get an Insanitarius suit and don't use it. Uh, but that does that is something to take into account too if you use it correctly it's essentially a free heal there at the end it does have a cooldown but i mean yeah. still that's my personal build but um yeah there's nothing wrong with his build apart from i would not get the helm on the heart on top of the helm yeah. i'd split split the helm and save a bit of money um okay scout just so, saving 1300 gold which yeah, is the cost of the recipe that's true um so scout uh i don't want to comment on the timing of your build 
it was way off. 53 CK, everything that was way off. Terrible. Um, but and two R and three. He was. Yeah, but, <laughs> he basically got carried that game. I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. He just well, didn't, he didn't do he anything. Didn't team fight. And he didn't farm, so so what was he doing for forty he minutes? Just, yeah, he didn't really do anything, you know. He he was using his eyes. He, but uh, but <laughs> yeah, every now yeah, okay, he did place a little bit of wards, considering they didn't have a support. That's nice, I guess. So support it wasn't scout. the world's most awful scout, but he just <laughs> didn't really do anything. Support scout, the new meta, right? Leave him alone. <laughs> But um, item-wise, assuming that was going to be a shrunken head and not a shield breaker, that's fine. Um, even if it's a shield breaker, it's not bad, but you really need shrunken head against that team. You simply um, need more farm than that. Yeah, I mean, you could have had that plus a shrunken head completed, plus even a shield breaker completed at a 40-minute game, um, if you wanted to go that route. I mean, you could go a number of other items, too. But, but yeah, you, you definitely need more. So item-wise, though is not bad so it's just it just needs to be faster um puppet so uh, I, there's nothing wrong with those items the only thing that i want to comment on is a you weren't using the whispering helm to stack ancients um which is one of the main reasons you get it really uh i mean you know the the stats and, and life steal is all nice too don't get me wrong but but and the fact that it builds into a, um, a symbol of rage is really nice but but, I mean, the fact that you can stack Ancients without being there and you can farm other places is really huge. And then, on top of that, so so I don't know the order of the items, I could be mistaken. Um, but I assume what happened is you went Steam Boots, Grave Locket, Whispering Helm, and then um, Assassin's Shroud. Yeah. Shroud that's, and then, that's exactly what he did. Yeah, so that's that would be my assumption, because that's how I would have done it if I was going to get those items. Um, that's, that's not wrong, and I'm assuming this Warhammer is going to be built into a Shrunken Head, which again is not wrong, totally fine. Um, it's just kind of, so, so, Grave Locket, don't get me wrong, Grave Locket is nice on pretty much any intelligence hero, um, and, and Puppet is an intelligence hero, even though he's a carry, a lot of people kind of think he's agility, but no, he's intelligence. Um, it's not wrong, I just, I just think that it's, it's, it's 735 gold, so it's not like a huge, um, debt, it's just that... I think it's not really a hard carry kind of item, and at some point you're going to sell it later on. So maybe it wouldn't be the best item to pick up since you're going to probably not want it all that much later in the game. Uh, I, don't I, I, don't, know. I like it. Yeah, I don't I think, think it's, it's good wrong. for the nice I, early stats and survivability, and just it's cheap. It's cheap efficient stats. I think it is. It is. I don't fine. think it's wrong. I just and then it comes back to puppet too. I don't think Puppet's one of those heroes that needs, like, you know, like, for example, Flint needs Soul Scream Rings to farm and get his items before he can get, he, he doesn't have anything, it takes him too long to farm and get items without them, so he needs Soul Scream Rings. I don't think Puppet needs those little mini stat items to farm yeah. up his big items. Yeah, I think, um, it depends. If, if you're getting good farm, you can skip it. If your farm's a little bit slow, then it's nice to get stats and build up items like that. I mean, it's it's not a huge deal either way. The item's not bad yeah. on any intelligence hero, I don't think. It's just, I think, on a puppet, it's not necessary. But, again, not bad. Um, yeah, so there's not really much to talk about him. Same thing with Scout. Your farm is crappy. You need to pick it up. So, other than that, that's fine. Um, I, I didn't pay too much to your positioning and such, so I'm not going to comment on that. But uh, I, I did yeah, notice we're a couple. Yeah, on the Deadwood. Huh? Yeah, we're focusing on the Deadwood, weren't we? So we yeah, yeah. Really the the only thing I do want to note is, and like uh, Taddy brought up in the game, you did use that puppet show to save Scout at one point. I don't think you did it on purpose, but <laughs> that's an assumption based on your MMR and statistics. Um, but it could have been. Who knows? If so, then congratulations. That's that's very well played. Um, but. Uh, other than that, I noticed a couple key ultimates that were kind of nice. You kind of got the right person, so that's good. Other than that, though, there's much to talk about for you. Uh, I kind of want to rush through the Hellborn team, so let's see. So, uh, Shadow Blade. I don't see I don't like the item build. It. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like it. As you know, and as from the previous video with the with the Blitz, my personal preference for building Shadow Blade is stack agility, yeah. use ult on self, do stupid amounts of damage. Yeah. Um, I... I personally don't mind the item build. I don't mind seeing Shadow Blades build as tanks or, you know, tanky like damage dealers like a Predator or something like that or Zephyr or whatever. It's not wrong. I don't think it's wrong. Um, I think, you know, maybe they'd be better. It's not but it's not wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's not his preference. Uh, it's it's kind of like my preference behind, like, um, you know, Torturer being played as a carry over a support. You can play Torturer as a support. You can do fine as a support. I just think it's much better as a carry. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a bit down to personal opinion, but... 
and and you know the game too uh, and like in this game you didn't need a tanky hero presumably that would be devourer's job but or soul reaper even if yeah. you built differently yeah um but other than that your items aren't wrong uh the two nine and nine is wrong though <laughs> so i wasn't paying attention i don't know how you got nine deaths but uh it was wrong so i don't know what you did but something wasn't right um hag fine items with the exception of the bottle so side lane bottle almost never uh, well, unless you're suiciding, perhaps. If you're uh, suicide and you're in a five lock on a team and you have a solo mid versus a dual mid and one of you is going to go to each rune so at least one of you gets it or your mid doesn't get a bottle. <laughs> it's very specific when you'd get a side lane bottle and yeah, not in that game. Yeah, but in general, for everybody listening, don't side lane bottle. Just as a, yeah. as, as a default, I mean, there are circumstances that can make it okay, but just don't. <laughs> in general, just don't. Um, other than that, though, the boots are fine. The minor totems, I'm assuming, were starting items, and you just held on to them. Uh, and then the null stone is totally fine against a deadwood scout, puppet master, like so many single target key skills. So totally fine. Um, yeah. And then yeah, so you didn't have not a lot of TPs this game, but I mean, hey, it, it's you know the 1200s. I wasn't really expecting it. So TPs for everybody, with the exception of deadwood, pretty good job of TPs. Nice job, man. Um, and Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper items are fine, but... He was the, going for a sack stone with a grave locket and the ring mail, which I like. Yeah. But it was just... He just had no items. Yeah. He died 13 times, so that's why. Yeah, so I was going to say, the items are fine, but they need to be more. Same thing with, you know, Puppet and and Scout and all them, you know, more. It's not, you know, 40 minutes, you don't have one item, really. I mean, you know, obviously you have the boots and the grave locket, but those don't really count as major items. So, I mean, you don't have an item at 40 minutes... That's useless. You're literally a useless player. So, uh, just, you know, pick it up. I mean, it comes down to probably your positioning would be my guess since you had that many deaths. Uh, that's just a guess. But, I mean, I wasn't paying attention to you, so I can't really speak on it. Um, Chipper, uh, we've talked about this in the past. The spell shards are a big no-no, really. I hate spell shards so much. <laughs> well, so, so, on Chipper where his damage is literally almost 100% magic, I'm okay with spell shards, but certainly not as your first major item, and certainly mm -hmm. not in a side lane chipper. So in this game, not a chance would I have gotten spell shards. It's it's not horrible as a last item. I would still get something else. There's always something better to get. But you want a tablet or a portal key or a yeah. staff. I would have gone, gone portal key first. Portal key first <sighs> would have been great. Um, but, I mean, it wouldn't have changed the game either way. They just they just got outplayed. They really weren't that good. Um, yeah. But, yeah, other than that, you had, you had a TP. Nice. You had a power supply. Really nice. You don't see a lot of those. Uh, intelligence heroes, especially side lane intelligence heroes, should almost always get a power supply. Um, I get it on almost everyone. Yeah, it's a, it's a similar concept behind uh, Grave Locket. Int int intelligence heroes and side lanes really need Grave Lockets. Grave Lock's just such a key ability if you're going to go side lane. Because uh, you're going to be a little bit behind on levels and compared to their mid, so the extra stats for the Grave Locket at least is helpful. Whereas the the Clutch Heal is helpful with a power supply. It's kind of the similar concept behind a Clutch TP. Uh, you, the power supply primary goal. Well, I think the reason a lot of people don't get it is because they think it's for the regen. That's not the case. It's you don't get a power supply for a regen. You would get a you know a Null Stone or or whatever you know depending on the game, but you get the power supply for the fact that you have, uh, I think it's 150 or something like that, uh, 15 mana and 10 health and maximum charge. Okay, so 100 health and 150 mana, or sorry, 15 charges, I'm stupid. So 150 health and 300, I can't do math, whatever. A lot of mana, <laughs> maximum uh, for, for a max uh, charge, instant. It's, yeah. There's no like delay on it or anything. So like, 100, you know, some... 150 health, 225 mana, and... There we go. And cheap stats, easy build up, good on. It's again, it's one of those items. It's never bad on yeah. anyone. I mean, there's some heroes you just wouldn't get it on. I, I some do situations where you wouldn't get it. But. On heroes, it's not necessarily bad. On any heroes, it's not necessarily bad. But there are games where if the enemy team has a lot of heroes that just don't use their abilities very often, it's not a good item. So yeah, I mean, there are times when I mean, for example, you're against. Uh, a devourer, for example, devourer never uses his item, his abilities, unless he's going to kill you. And it doesn't proc on his decay, by the way, for anybody who's not who doesn't know yeah, that. It it does not use mana. Yeah, it only procs on abilities that use mana. So it does not proc on his decay. It does not proc on on a couple other abilities too. But um, 
but so he doesn't he doesn't use his abilities. So if Deadwood had got a power supply early game against a Devourer, I would have said he's an idiot because that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It, it's it's not a bad item, but just in certain cases when you're against certain heroes, it makes no sense. Yeah. Um, but you know, in side lane chipper against he was against Scout Puppet, you know, not great, but you know, fine. I guess it's an okay. Um, Devourer, your items were fine. The only thing is you kind of like missed so many hooks. I, I think. I think I think I don't think I saw you hit like a really decent hook any at any time in that game. Um, yeah. You, you hit that one on Deadwood at the rune, but that was more so Deadwood's fault than your your skill. Um, it, it's uh, maybe you should pick a different hero, man. So I'm gonna say uh, that's or practice or, more. Yeah. Or get better at it. Go in yeah. practice mode or against the bots or whatever. Yeah. Um, Helm, I also don't think is necessary on Devo. I don't. It's not bad. It's just not necessary. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's necessary, um, but then again, I would also not say that a portal key is necessary on him, and you see so many people pick it up. I think I a portal a tablet. key... Um, tablet's fine. I think people get portal key because they can't hook, so they kind of try and equalize the fact that they can't hook with, oh, I'll get a portal key, I don't need to hook, I can jump in and just, you know, alt and decay, and then I can just use the hook as a nuke. Yeah, you can do that, but, I mean you're like essentially nullifying the ability i mean it's still it's still a powerful nuke it's 400 physical damage at level four um but i mean the big point of that ability is the pull to you so i mean i don't i don't know i'm just, no. just the, kinda... the big point of it that makes it strong is that it's a better initiation tool than portal king in and outing someone because you're pulling a member of their team completely out of position and basically getting them wiped out by your team straight oh, yeah. away I and mean, then you and then it's four v five. I mean, it's it's very game dependent, but just as a speculation, I would say the percentage of a kill uh, and probably a win team, a one team fight after that, after you successfully land a hook, is probably like eighty percent plus. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's assuming you're not like so far behind or something like that, it's pretty it's hard. Assuming you don't hook an armadon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on who you're hooking and a lot of per game stuff, but just. All things, all other things considered equal, and considering you're hooking the right person and all that stuff, I would say it's probably 80, 85 percent plus success rate of winning the kill, and then probably a team fight in tower after that. Um, yeah. I mean, and, and late game, late game against two teams that have hard carries that are on equal footing, uh, it comes down to one team fight. If you can get one of their heroes, presumably the carry, but even just anybody out of position, uh, you can win the game. Yeah. Really, that I mean, if, if you can hook that, I mean, in a late game team fight. Even if the carry's got a shrunken head, you hook them out of the out of position of their team, and you ult them. Even it, your ult will um, will go through shrunken head. The damage won't apply, but it will go yeah. through shrunken head. You lock them down for three seconds. You've got them completely away from their team. They've wasted three seconds of their shrunken head, which by that point is probably only going to be five seconds, yeah. and you've done 400 physical damage. Yeah, and on top of that, um, presumably your team would be there to support you on top of it. So. He would probably die regardless, considering you would have yeah. a hard carry too. But that's just you know assuming all things you know. But but again, it's it's phenomenal ability. I just now, I, well, I don't want to get too much into it, but it just it depends on how you use the portal key and stuff. If you're using the portal key to set up a hook to your team, it's a different story, I guess. Uh, but that's not usually how people use it. Usually they just use the you know to initiate, and then they use the hook as a nuke. But as long I mean, as you don't do max range portal key, you can actually hook and then portal key a bit further away and it'll pull them all the way to you. But yeah, if, that, if it's yeah. only up to a certain point, I can't remember exactly what the distance is before the hook breaks, but you mm -hmm. can do that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can most certainly do that. do that. Or you can also tablet. You can hook and then tablet yourself back and it'll also yeah. work. Yeah, and um, also Devara has a terrible mana pool, so tablet's good on him. Yeah, yeah, he does have a fairly bad mana pool and that's partially the reason why people get bottle. So, um his skills not only does he have a pretty bad mana pool but on top of that his skills are all pretty mana intensive too like i think the hook at level four is correct me if i'm wrong i think it's like 140 or 160 or something um and then the ultimate i believe is about 100 give or take two uh, i'm actually going to check while we're here but uh, yeah you hook it up with any without any int stats items or any mana regen and you can only do that once in the fight yeah so hook is 140 and devour is 170 so I mean, at level 6, I'm not sure what his mana pool is, but I know it's just about enough to do both of them, and that's it. Like, he can't do anything else, really. Um, of course, you know, that those are his only two mana, you know, abilities anyways, but just, you know, all things considered. Um, yeah, so other than that, though, 
fairly good job by Deadwood, just to, you know, recap. Um, you did pretty good with the grass, pretty good with everything. Just focus on those things we told you about. Other than that, you did pretty good. Uh, any closing comments you want to make? Um, no, again, I think that we've talked for a ridiculous amount of time and covered everything. We do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, we, we summarize him separately so he's, he can feel free to not watch if he wants. Um, other than that, though, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful specifically to you, Big Larva, but to anybody else, I guess, who, who decided to watch. Um, other than that, feel free to keep submitting replays. We do these usually two to three times a week. Uh, it it kind of depends a bit on my time and a bit on uh, my laziness as well. Last Friday I did a tips video just because I was being lazy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so feel free to keep submitting. Uh, if you have any requests or tips or something like that, um, again, feel free. Any questions, if you want to argue any of the things we've said, feel free. Um, other than that, though, that is all we wanted to cover. So thank you for watching once again, and we will talk to you guys later. GG, well played, guys. Elf us out.